The Chattooga River starts in the mountains around the Cashier Highlands area and flows south to form the border between Georgia and South Carolina. It is one of the most beautiful pieces of land Georgia has to offer. Hiking trails lead you through 50 miles of trail along or near the river. At a point in the river called Commissioner's Rock marks the border between Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. There is much to take in as you pass from the peaceful river to the Roaring Falls. Along the trail, you will see awesome white pines, bloodroot flowers, and a wide variety of wild vegetation. Garrett is a park ranger at the Tallulah Gorge. Being a ranger, he wants to promote people to get out and do things. I'm a strong believer in um, people getting into recreation um, that maybe don't know much about the outdoors or their public lands or what they're all about. And I think the people that get into the different areas of recreation um, kind of opens their eyes to that kind of thing. This is Sam Causey, a kayaker that really appreciates and understands the beauty of nature. Well, the headwaters of Chattooga are a beautiful place. The water's much more pristine up there. Uh, you realize that the further upstream you go in a watershed, the cleaner the water is. It's also extremely beautiful. It gives you wilderness feel that is really hard to get in this part of the country. And on top of that, they do have harder rapids, a um, little bit, you know, pretty much same characteristics, same bedrock, similar drops, um, but it just kind of brings a whole new level into the game of being able to boat the Chattooga. The Chattooga River was designated a wild and scenic river in 1974. Two years later, the United States Forest Service made a decision to prevent boating on the upper reaches of the river, specifically above the Highway 28 bridge, also known as the Headwaters. This has fueled frustration in many kayakers who don't feel it is a fair decision. Subject 1 would like their identity to remain concealed and is strongly against kayaking. Why do you think kayaks, canoes, rafts do or don't belong in wild and scenic rivers such as the Chattooga? Because it's the wilderness and plastic is not wild. Well, I feel that they do belong there. In recent, with the boating ban that they happened on the upper Chattooga, they allow fishermen. And the thing about it is that the people that enjoy the wilderness, that go out there and that really, you know, that really enjoy it and that have fun out there, they're the ones that take care of it. And you don't have a lot of people going into that section that are going to be trashing it. One of the major concerns that kayakers and rangers both have is the trash that could appear in the area by allowing kayakers on the river. Um, when you look at, yeah, I know that there's a lot of people out there, there's bad apples in every group, you know, of course there's kayakers that'll litter and there's canoers that'll litter, and, you know, same with fishermen. All these dang hippies keep coming up here, the little plastic tubes running down the water, and they're a distraction to the fishermen, disturbing all the fish, they leave their garbage everywhere. But I've just noticed that there's a much higher trend of hikers and fishermen that tend to litter. They don't seem to enjoy the they don't seem to enjoy the experience as much, and they don't take care of it as well. Uh, I, and I just feel that kayaks and canoes should be allowed there. Maybe not rafts yet, because that would bring a lot of tourism in the area, and it would bring a lot of people a lot of people in there that might not be ready for it, and people that aren't willing and ready to take care of that area. You're always going to have people that are going to go and they're going to screw up a particular area. They're going to throw their trash. Um, I'm not saying that all boaters are great and they never do anything to damage the resource. Um, I'm not saying that fishermen are great and they never do anything to damage the resource. Um, but there's certain areas which I believe should be open to both of them, that being one of them. They come here throwing all their garbage out on the banks because they think they zoom down that white water past all our garbage. These hikers actually live in this environment and they deal with all the garbage. Kayakers just throw it and leave it. Another concern and reason for not opening the Chattooga is the possible roads that might have to be built to gain access to the river. Um, I guess a lot of the reasons that people don't want it to be allowed uh, is access. Um, a lot of people feel like that's, and it is, you know, um, uh, one of the big or contributing factors, I guess, to changing an environment or making it different. And we don't really need any more roads because they've already got the roads for the hikers, but uh, we don't want them hippie type people zooming around their Subarus up there, all those plastic kayaks on top, drifting around the corners and running people off the road. Renting and um, having a parking lot and roads into places is totally going to change the traffic and, and everything like that. Um, but there is existing roads up there. Um, fishing is allowed up there.
I do agree it could bring in uh, more people and more trash and people in general when they move into an environment they definitely cause change and they, they do hurt the environment to some extent. I believe that the upper sections of the Chattooga though they should be boated on I feel that they should be regulated. Uh, bringing a lot of people in there could harm the ecosystem and a bunch of people go in there not knowing how to take care of the area. Um, also controlling types of access is going to control you know the types of voters and the types of crowds that you have up there so you can control that kind of thing just by putting maybe a simple trail in you know. and hopefully when they do allow people to go in there they will monitor people's usage of the land and how to take care of it so folks that really wanted to boat it could go and boat it but yet you know you're not you're not uh, bringing in dump truck loads full of gravel and building a new parking lot or a new road in there um, net allowing boaters to, to run a particular river ne doesn't necessarily mean um, new roads or new parking lots some people fear that by allowing boaters on the river, it would become too crowded and would take away from the experience of the outdoors. <laughs> Where is a place that people can go and not see boaters? That would be the upper Chattooga, because the kayakers already have the whole lower Chattooga. I don't know why they think they need the whole thing. Everybody has their opinions of, you know, how many people they see on a particular trail or on the river, uh, you know, constitutes too crowded. Um, some people may see one person on the river and think that it was too crowded that day. Other people will go and see, you know, if people are used to going to the Okoe all the time, they'll go and see 50 people and think that, you know, it wasn't crowded at all. You see, there are places to go hiking around there. There's lots of trails. They almost all run along the river, and there are tons of trails in that area. It's an extremely beautiful area, and I know that there's the West Fork Trail that runs along the West Fork, the Chattooga. There's other trails that go along Overflow Creek. So there's tons of trails in the area that you could uh, hike along and not have to see any kayakers. Um, but that's not to say that opening up uh, the upper Chattooga would, would create a, you know, an Ocoee like you know, where you get an amusement park, pretty much, of people going down the river. But at the same time, with the regulation and permits that you'd require, hopefully you'd require to boat there, there wouldn't be so many kayakers that would be an eyesore and it wouldn't bring so many people into the area that wouldn't normally be there that it would cause any impact on other people's enjoyment of the outdoors. I'm not saying that it wouldn't take away from the beauty, it would, but um, that's also not to say that you don't allow um, a particular user group to use it. When do you think that you will be able to paddle the river? Well, I don't know if it's going to happen anytime remotely soon. Uh, it's something that American Whitewater has been fighting for and they've been striving to achieve uh, access to this river. I hope that it comes soon and it seems that there's more people interested in this cause than there ever has been before. So I hope, I hope that it's soon, but I'm, I can't really say. There are many people with different views on whether or not the river should be open to kayakers. People don't want to hike on trails and see nothing but boats on the river. Others feel that kayakers contribute the majority of the trash to the areas they inhabit. And some just don't like kayakers and will try to do everything to keep them out of the upper Chattooga. Are you a big fan of kayakers yourself, sir? No, sir. They ruin everything. A bunch of yuppies. There are many organizations that are working towards opening the river for kayakers' use. American Whitewater has been trying for years to gain access to the river. You can go to AmericanWhitewater.org and join to support the effort or make a donation to the cause. Well, I appreciate you doing this for me. Good man, Tim Morris. You're good man, Tim Morris. Yep. To the B, to the A, to the D, U, B. Duh. Hippie chic town known as That's the C. We live and we play and we work and we stay in. Now most of the time you can just have fun and most of the time you got nothing but love and when it all is wrong and it pretends to be right. Oh now. shit, you can bet we're gonna put up a fight now. now. This town went down, it was late, went out. My friend was moving around and he pulled aside for speeding, no. for swerving, no. for getting to send his turn. No. It is claimed to DUI.